Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Uber app. It's a really great alternative to taxis. It's quick and easy to download and start using in no time at all. So if you haven't already, head to the App Store and download the Uber app and go ahead and open it. And we're going to click continue to get started. And you can either sign up with your mobile number, your Apple account, Facebook, Google or email. So choose whichever option is most suitable to you and sign up with that. And you'll probably have to verify your email or your phone number, depending on which one you've used. It'll then ask you for your name. So go ahead and enter that. You've then got to accept Uber's terms and conditions. And then there's a few things for you to read through. And you're then brought to the homepage of the app. And at the top here, you can see you are currently in the ride section. And you can also go to the eat section so you can order food and get that delivered to you. Down at the bottom, you've got services. So you've got trip, car hire, two wheels, charter, carpool, hourly, reserve, explore, store pickup and package. And then we go across to activity and that's going to show any upcoming bookings that you've made and any past bookings that you have. And then we go over to account. In here, you can see your wallet and your messages and your settings. But let's head back to home and let's say we want to have a look at trip. And it's going to let us plan our trip. And if we just drag that down, we can move around the map by pinching and zooming and we can choose where we want to be picked up from. So let's just say here is where we want to be picked up from. So we're going to click confirm pickup and then we're going to choose where we want to go to. And again, we could either scroll through the map as we were before, or we could just type something in or choose something from the suggested options. So in this case, Birmingham New Street Station, let's try that one. And that's going to give us our options. So we've got Uber X, Uber XL, and you can see next to it, that tells you how many passengers you can have. So next to Uber X, you've got an icon of a person and then the number four, so that you can have four people in that car. But Uber XL, you can see you can have six. And then you've also got comfort and executive. So these are newer cars with extra leg room or high end cars with top rated drivers. And if we scroll down, there's even more options. So Uber Pet, which allows you to take your pet with you. Uber Assist, which is drivers who are trained to offer special assistance, as well as Access, which is wheelchair accessible cars. And next to each of these, you can see how much they are going to cost. And you can also see the time underneath of when that car will arrive. So you can choose one of the options from this menu and we can just select it by clicking on it. And then here we can see it says Apple Pay. That's the current payment method. But if we click on that, we can choose the payment method. So you could add a credit card. If you had some Uber cash in your wallet, you could use that. And you can also add a voucher code. And once you're happy with all of the details, you can click confirm Uber X and that is going to book your journey for you. And a driver will be with you around the time that is stated. So as you can see, within a few minutes, we have downloaded the app, set up an account and already booked a journey. So as you can see, the Uber app is really, really easy to use and you can actually have a journey booked in no time at all at a very reasonable rate. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.